you will be assessed before your operation to find the safest and most appropriate anaesthetic technique for your procedure. Your anaesthetist will discuss this fully with you. Are you happy we've, we've explained yes. All, yes. The, all the... Well, your anaesthetist come and see you beforehand on the day of surgery for a thorough pre-operative assessment. And once he's taken into account your medical conditions, the drugs that you're taking, and any previous experiences or personal preferences, then there will be a discussion or dialogue between you and the anaesthetist, and he will recommend the best technique for you. Well, there are principally two types of anaesthetic available. There's either the general anaesthetic or a spinal anaesthetic. A general anaesthetic is where you're put to sleep totally for your operation and from the moment you leave the anaesthetic room you're not aware of any other part of the procedure until you wake up comfortably in our recovery room. In a nervous patient you can guarantee you won't know anything about it with a general anaesthetic so that's a big advantage. Also some patients who've got fragile hearts, it does, it does protect the heart during the operation if they have a general anaesthetic they won't, they won't be prone to get a very fast heart rate. Uh, and you can control the oxygen input to the patient. Uh, so you make things very stable during the operation with a general anaesthetic. And the main disadvantage to a general anaesthetic is a feeling of sickness or nausea after your operation, which occurs in about 20% of patients. We do give anti-sickness medicine to try to prevent this, um, and in the vast majority of patients this works very effectively. If you've got a patient who's got a bad chest, cough, a lot of coughing, bad asthma, bronchitis, those sort of things, it's much safer to do a, a spinal anaesthetic because you're not interfering with the way the chest's working and the patient doesn't have their coughing mechanism interrupted and they can keep their lungs in much better condition during the operation if they have a spinal anaesthetic. The main disadvantage to a regional anaesthetic is that you are awake for the procedure on the whole, so you may be aware of some of what's happening in the operating theatre, although you would feel no pain or discomfort whatsoever. Um, we can usually um, sedate you so that um, most patients are very comfortable and very tolerant of the, um, being aware of their surroundings and very comfortable throughout the procedure. It's best to let the anaesthetist worry about the side effects of the particular techniques in, return, in relation to the safety to the patient. Um, there's nothing to worry about specifically with either technique. Patients who have had one knee replaced by a general anaesthetic and one knee replaced through a spinal anaesthetic often afterwards say they much preferred the spinal anaesthetic and that it was nowhere near as um, uncomfortable or distressing as they thought it was going to be. In fact, they'd been very comfortable throughout, had better pain relief afterwards and um, avoided the necessity and all the slight hangover feeling of a general anaesthetic. Obviously every single procedure has a risk to it, as crossing the road has a risk to it, but the vast majority of anaesthetics these days are extremely safe and through thorough pre-assessment and optimising you, in other words making that you're as fit as possible at the time of surgery and discussion with your anaesthetist beforehand means that most patients have a completely seamless journey through their anaesthetic and operation.